pressed between pages of unwritten narratives, weird dried flowers, gasping for a sip of acceptance at a water fountain that 50 years ago would have denied us the right to drink, denied us the right to be. I've been thirsty and lost on streets called hallways and dreams called some days, avoiding the scorching sun's rays, praying for a storm, waiting for a rainbow to ride up out of here. For the kids whose faces are already aging in early grades because the grapevine whispers gruesome gossip from gullible gunmouth gargoyles who don't know how to give for the black kids, the multiracial kids, the ones who don't look like the people in the textbooks for my cousins Micah and Nakaria. They won't say you're beautiful. They will ask questions about your hair. They will stick things in your hair. They will assume they know you. Expect to be unfamiliar with invisibility. Don't answer to the N-word willingly. A black president will not guarantee your emotional safety. So wear a seatbelt at all times. They will expect you to crash, cave, fall, fall, escape. Shut your eyes and books and run away from the very thing that will save you. Seeing your growing pains, you paint strewn mosaic however long it takes you. Let the grito in your lungs meet the funk in your blood. Meet the panther on your tongue. Meet la raza in your love. You are a cross-cultural sampling that even hip hop doesn't know how to address yet, but keep believing. Like blossom is the only B word you'll ever be called. Dig, unearth your roots, find your footing with the gods or the spirits or poetry, wherever you can be yourself, because you will be overwhelmed with the magnitude of the madness they won't teach you in school. But don't let their wordplay skip the mixtape out of you. Scratch, shuffle your way back to knowledge, and therein your story will be. Let your warrior instincts dictate your flow and go. Read, discover, learn all you can digest, lest you forget where you come from. Don't forget where you come from or what you are made of. Contrary to popular belief, darkness is nothing to be afraid of. Love, even when they don't understand you, they won't always understand you. But if true beauty is beyond description, you are beyond translation, so don't blame them for not knowing how to speak to you. But don't accept anything less than your truth. And if you can't find it, write it. If you can't see it, speak it. We were martyred for centuries so these moments could be this honest. Honor our fallen by loving your skin and every Huey that gave a hue to make you. And when the world bends your stem and threatens to break you, Boom.